Hi guys, it's Shami from Craft Names and Things. So today we are going to make one of these beautiful wrap bracelets. This um, video is sponsored by Panda Hall. And um, what I have here is I have some recycled sari yarn. Um, so what the women do in India is they sew all the scraps from the saris together um, just to make this beautiful ribbon, basically, um, this beautiful fiber. So um, I got like a rainbow color, which I love, and I think it'll be perfect because spring and summer are coming up. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these gorgeous bracelets. Now, mine is a little loose, but that's only because I didn't have a, t a you do need a bead that has a really um, tight hole, and that will kind of hold everything together. But it just looks really nice. It has lots of layers, lots of textures with the beads, and it's just beautiful, okay? Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So first, let me bring you in a little bit so you can see the supplies a little bit better here. So what I have here is I have those European style beads um, that I took from that I got from Panda Hall, not took, <laughs> but that I ordered from Panda Hall, um, and they're just all like beautiful and rainbow color so I thought they would look really beautiful um, with this um, yarn that I got and I got this um, sorry yarn I will put a link on where I got it from so you can order some too and a link to all the other supplies that I'm using here too so but you don't necessarily have to use the sorry um, yarn you could use um, this is a ribbon um, a special um, it's a Turkish ribbon that that I ordered, but um, you could use regular ribbon, you could use organza, you can use um, just a scrap of beautiful fabric would be great too, that you dyed or um, even, I was even thinking that you could use, um, oh, what do you call that, um, seam binding that you dye yourself, that would be awesome too. Um, and you could spray it with your ink sprays and get a really beautiful color. Um, you could even take white fabric, or I've even seen people do it with just those really pretty flurry skirts in the summer. They'll just, you know, slice them and tear them up, and it gives you a beautiful rough edge. Okay? But they're so beautiful, and they're so much fun to make. You're going to totally get addicted to these. Okay, so um, here I have some um, metal, or some silver-plated um, metal um, spacer beads so I just have a variety here but I do need one that's kind of smaller than the other ones and that's this one so it's kind of difficult to get the sari sari lace through that like both ends so it'll be the perfect resistance to try to um, keep your bracelet together and the reason why you want this kind of closure is because you can put it on yourself you don't need another person okay and I believe that that's all we need. And then I just have a skewer here and um, some scissors too, just in case I need them, but I don't. So first we're going to make this little centerpiece with the beautiful beads. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to do, um, how you cut off, first of all, the length that you want is you're just going to take it. You're going to hold a little bit in your hand. So you'll just take one end of your yarn or ribbon or whatever you're using. You could even do this with yarn. And you're just going to wrap it around your bracelets as many times as you want. Okay, so just keep wrapping, keep wrapping, keep wrapping around. Okay, and then what's going to happen is that you'll, you'll see that this will be our closure. So I want two tails on each end, and that gives you a little tail on the side, which is beautiful, and you can trim that off as much or as little as you want. Um, so I can see that I can get this wrapped around about one, two, three, four times, okay? Yeah, about five times actually it looks like. So this is gonna be a large wrap bracelet. And then what I like to do is I kind of wanna see, because I think that I want my beads on this yellow one, right? or you could do them here, or you could even do it in the middle too, but it's kind of better to work on either end, whichever end you want. So I'm gonna do it on this beautiful yellow. I think that that would be pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gently take that off, unwrap that, and then I can kind of see where I should start my beads. So I'm thinking that I should start my beads right here, because this is the end, okay? I wanna make sure that you get that. So. This is the end here that I want to start at. So I'm actually going to make sure that I hold that, okay? Okay, and that's where I'm going to create my first knot. Now, um, I like creating knots um, just be to keep the beads sturdy because um, 
these are expensive beads and you don't want them kind of bumping or moving too much on your bracelet so um, and plus it gives you an actual vocal point so you're just gonna take it just make you know two or three loops um, just to kind of so that the beads don't go through okay just like that okay and then you're just gonna take I like to use a skewer. I had a beading needle, but of course I messed that up. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're just going to thread on some beads to this knot that we have here. Okay. So um, I'll start. I usually always start with the spacer bead first. So I'm going to just do this beautiful flower one that I have here. And this can be a little tricky because these holes are a little tight and the spacer beads is a little bit more tight. So that's why I have a skewer here, but you can use kind of whatever you'd like. Okay, and see how that's not coming undone. That's what you want. Okay. And then I can put another bead on there and just kind of make a design that I like. Okay. However kind of design you want. But I just love these um, bracelets. I saw them in a craft show. It's like those are so beautiful and the lady kind of explained to me how she did it so I've been wanting to make these and um, I just got a small um, a small order of the sari yarn but um, if you but you can get like huge you know just basically huge amounts of it and um, it's all different colors it's all dyed beautifully colors like I think this was only like 12 inches that I bought um, that I got. And you could, I think actually I'm going to add another bead. And it just comes with all these vibrant colors because as you know, saris in Indian culture are just beautiful. I always, they look so pretty. We have this um, Indian family at our church and they wear all their beautiful clothes for Easter, um, for our Easter celebrations and it's just so beautiful. They're probably like, why is this lady staring at me? But <laughs> no, I know the lady and her family. Her name is Dorothy. She's a sweetie pie. But they just look so elegant and beautiful and colorful. And I love color. So that's perfect. So you're just going to thread as many beads as you want on there. Okay. And you can make it as long or as short as you want. That's, I think maybe I'll do one more. Hmm. Maybe I'll do this pretty pink. Yeah, we'll do this pretty pink and then we'll do a spacer bead and we should be good to go here. And I might have to take off this other bracelet um, just to kind of get things out of the way here. Okay, and then I can do, I think I'm gonna end with a pretty flower one. I love these flower spacer beads. And they have so many choices of spacer beads on Panda Hall and beads in general that you know, it's just amazing. And I just love how organic and beautiful this is. Look at how pretty that is. I mean, it's gorgeous. Okay. So then we're going to make a knot at the end just to kind of keep those together. So you'll just take that and you're going to make a knot right up against that bead. Okay. Just right there. And we can make one more. And this is great because you only need two and this ribbon that I use for this one it's a little bit thinner than um, than you would think like this has more um, this is a lot more thicker which is nice so you do kind of want a thick ribbon more like fabric than ribbon even okay I'm just gonna take it and we're just gonna make sure that it lines up okay and as you can see those aren't going anywhere okay so now um, we need, so I always like to check, so I'm going to just put this on, put my wrist there as I showed you before, okay, and then I can take it and I can start wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it, okay, and that looks absolutely beautiful to me, okay, very, very pretty, okay. And if you want these you know, back here, then um, you would just start with this on the other side, okay? But look at how pretty that is, okay?
Okay, so now we can, we know kind of where we're going here. So I know that it's about an inch from the yellow and that this is where I need to make, this is where I need to put the bead. Okay, so again, I'm just holding it just to, so that I know my place here. Okay, and then this part can get a little tricky, but I think I can handle it. So I'm just gonna keep it on there. Alrighty, just like that. And then I need to thread this other one through too. So really I could have done them at the same time, but I like to think th make things slightly difficult for myself, so. Okay, there we go. And see, look at, that's what you want is that resistance, okay, when you pull. Okay, so now let's put it on. So I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit and hopefully there's enough resistance, but you do need a tight bead, okay? So you are just gonna take it and I'm gonna hold these right in place, okay? And then I'm going to make like a figure eight, if that makes sense. So we're gonna turn, we'll go like that. and I'm just going to keep tightening it kind of I can move it around a little bit get all those luscious layers on there okay and if I wanted to I wonder if I can get another loop because I do have quite a bit left so I'm going to take it and go over again yep because I should be able to get four that's what we thought is that we'd be able to get four okay and then we're going to take it and we're going to just tighten it up a little bit you can just pull but i just love these these are just so beautiful and fun to make you're going to totally get addicted i promise you and just what a beautiful way and I know they have lots of like you can actually go online and look for places um, where you actually you know pay you know ten dollars and you get um, some sari lace or sari yarn and then um, that money goes to goes to the organization it goes to these women you know that that make that dye this fabric and make such beautiful things so Okay, so that's what we got, guys. Okay, and if you want to, you can definitely cut off the tails a little bit. And you just play with it until you get it the way that you want, which I love. This is so cool. Look at that. And that literally took no time to make, and you have a beautiful wrap, fabric wrap bracelet. Now, um, if you wanted to, you could absolutely leave it here. And that would be fine. But what I was thinking, I'm going to take this off for a minute, is that you could also attach your jump ring. So you could, you could grab, you know, a jump ring. And really, you could have just threaded this on here. I should have thought of that. And you could add a charm. Now, I would not add maybe that charm because it's a little too big but you could add a charm if you wanted to and we will how about that for the next one we'll make um, a charm a charm fabric bracelet but I just wanted to show you just how beautiful these are and then of course you can trim if you want but I kind of like it all natural and beautiful like that but um, I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see but these are just lovely they're lovely bracelets and look at how iridescent and beautiful those beads are and like I said, this is a one-of-a-kind bracelet. Absolutely beautiful. And this would make a great gift for, for your mother, for your sisters, for your friends. I'm sure they would love these. And it's a perfect accessory for spring. So I'll put all the link below so that you can get all the beads and all the supplies, most of which I got from Panda Hall, except for the sari yarn um, or sari fabric. 
but they call it sorry yarn because it does you can you can make this into all sorts of cool stuff and I'm sorry I'm talking about the yarn but these beads are equally as beautiful I mean look at how pretty those are and I used one two three four four of the big beads and then I use one two three four five six of those beautiful spacer beads and you just get a variety of beads you get such a great value at Panda Hall. So if you have any questions let me know. Hopefully this video was clear and if you decide to make one of these beauties please um, text me or um, let me know. Show me a picture of what it looks like. I guess you can't text me because you don't have my phone number but you can <laughs> show me on Facebook or something and I would just like to thank um, Panda Hall for sponsoring this video and for um, supplying the supply. So thank you so much. Be sure to check out their website and I will see you next time and enjoy making beautiful, gorgeous, bohemian inspired fabric bracelets um, for, for the summer and for the spring, for that beautiful hot weather. I love this kind of style for that. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.